Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to use FTP clients. So we are going to use uh, FileZilla as a FTP uh, client software. So I have FileZilla client installed on my PC. So if you don't know which software you have to install, I just uh, show you that. Just open up my google and then type filezilla filezilla client is yes. so cut suggestions and this is the first link so you just click if you have 32 bit use second link so click the link uh, download filezilla client it will be downloaded and installed it uh, on your PC and then if you install that uh, it will be look like this uh, we need a mm, couple of things to connect uh, with the hosting server so first one is host address and username password and port number so I'm going to get it from my hosting site so my I'm going to my hosting site which is hosting error right yeah. so I'm going to log in my app member area come on okay I'm going to use gmail okay I'm just logged in okay this is the cPanel uh, if you are using any type of cPanel you you can find the option called FTP access and FTP account something like that so you just click uh, any one of this icons now I'm going to choose FTP access okay so FTP here the details are uh, the filezilla client needs some details right so here are the details okay we have to host name ftp.cacrockers.ga and this is my username so i am going to copy that and paste it right here and delete, it. delete the tab space and i am going to type F tp dot csc rockers dot ga that's it so i know what the password is i think the port is the default port, uh, port is 20 van and we have to check it right so here the port is also 21 so I'm going to press quick connect yeah well IDs and non certificates so here is it so we are getting to our hosting server uh, this is our hosting remote server and this is our local site so I'm going to create a new directory called uh, temp okay this is folder view and this is file view and like this uh, in the local side and this is for server side and uh, this is a folder view and this is one as a um, file view so if I need to download something from the server you just uh, drag and drop or uh, just double click it it will be transferred okay I got it so this is a file if I want uh, if I want to upload this file you just double click it it will ask for rewrite so because of index.php index.php so it asks for overwrite or skip or resume something like that so I just overwrite it 
okay these are the basic things and I, if you want to edit you just right click and edit so it will open up your default uh, text editor and then I'm using packets as my default text editor so it will be showing this is my testing site and hi YouTube viewers this is a contents which is present in the index.php let's check uh, website csc rockers.ga that's it it's loading come on I think my connection so it's the spelling mistake CAC rockers that's a mistake okay this is the testing side hi YouTube viewers okay this is the content if you add something hello so I just uh, type hello and control s to save so if I save that and minimize this and go to FTP it will ask the previous open file was changed if you want to update it if we click S, yes, it will be directly uploaded to the server it's a nice thing right yeah let's check the browser refresh it yeah we have the word hello so it means the file is easily update, uh, updated that's it so come back to okay uh, if you have multiple site you have a option called site manager in that I have already put these things on okay I'm going to add new site called rock I'm just use my FTP FTP CSE R O C K E R S dot G A right twenty one and logon type must be normal and username I just copy from my hosting account that's C panel so I just I just retype my password. Okay, that's it I think. Okay. If we connect, it will ask uh filezilla is already connected to a server, particular server. If you want to add uh, add another connection, establish in a new tab. So it will bring you a new tab called rock. So both are connected to the same server but different tabs. If you are using to multiple servers, just use multiple tabs to manage multiple hosting sites. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.